I don't know if you heard the story before. I got this video right here. This little small section. Yeah, real we got to say mafia instead of I, I. I say cartel. Yeah, that's good. I like cartel because it is a cartel and, you and know, they run shit. cosmopolitan. Did you know that the uh, John D. Rockefeller found, uh, founded modern medicine and took away natural uh, cur cures? They Thanks, took away John. Na yeah, this is back in the days. Uh, any mention of the healing powers of herbs, plants, and diet was erased from most medical textbooks. Uh, doctors and professors who objected the Ro Rockefeller's plan were crucified by the media. This sounds kind of familiar, right? Like they were in conjunction with the media. They control the media, so they control the narrative, so they control you. Uh, they removed from the American Medical Association and stripped of their licenses to teach and practice medicine. So if you were a doctor, say, wait a second, I want to talk about some herbal remedies here. I want to talk about the way a person's diet works can help them out. They're like, no, no, get out of here. If it's not one well, thing you know where you take a pill did? from us, I'm sure what they did was mm -hmm. an ignorant like sweep up of because you have to figure like back then the amount of immigrant oh, you know all the all the stuff this is like the ages of snake oil had just gone by where people are, were just making their own stuff yeah so because we're gonna sweep up all this kind of stuff we could sweep up every other possible and definitely anything that might you know it's it's kind of like the way uh, all the originally drugs were made illegal yeah yeah I mean it's it's always a scam there's always somebody behind there making money. Uh, uh, it goes all the way to the top, and it says, sound familiar? This was a major opportunity for the Rockefellers, okay, who saw the ability to monopolize the oil, chemical, and medical industries at the same time. So they knew they had all the oil. They got the energy sewed up. They can use that oil and make medicine out of it, get rid of the other medicines, and now they got both of them, control the media, and they got one superpower controlling what you can take, how your healthcare is controlled, how your media is controlled. The best thing about pharmaceuticals was that everything – could be patent and sold for high profit. So that was another thing. They could patent things, and therefore they controlled the money. Share this clip and spread some awareness. I have a real quick clip to check it out. You got anything to say before I play it? If you showed me that like 10 years ago, I, wouldn't, I would have been like, whatever. Oh, I know. No, I know. The money people are bad. But now but you hear it now? They screwed this thing up so bad, The whole everybody who's in power, mm -hmm. and I got to see John Fetterman and senile people, and then there's weird war that shouldn't be there. Yeah. They messed it up so bad that now I'm quite... Dude, I told you, I'm starting to think that Saddam Hussein had nothing to do with Al-Qaeda. He didn't have anything to do with Al-Qaeda. He didn't. He <laughs> did. Know, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm, I'm well, that was the thing. I people, was trying to be dry. You, you know what? You got me. That's how good your comedy is and stuff like that. But let me tell you something, Kurt. A lot of people did believe that Saddam Hussein worked closely with Al-Qaeda because they both hated America. It's not the truth. David Frum were a great They hated it. each other. Yeah, David Frum was stupid. And a lot of people that went on Bill Maher's show was like, you got to be stupid to think that, that uh, Saddam Hussein hasn't worked with Al-Qaeda. It's like, you know nothing. Al-Qaeda hated freaking Saddam Hussein. He was a secular leader. They didn't like him at all. You know, I know. I, I, he wasn't I, a theocrat. He we was, all knew. Everybody knew that, too, and I, nobody yeah. cared. They're like, go, go get him. Well, take a look. This is the Rockefellers. This is what they did years and years and years ago, and they're still controlling shit to this day. Around the same time that John D. Rockefeller seized U.S. media, he also hijacked U.S. medicine. When it was discovered that drugs could be produced from petroleum, America's top oil mogul ordered his army of propagandists to invert reality accordingly. Medicines used for thousands of years were suddenly classified as alternative, while the new, petroleum-based, highly addictive, and patentable drugs were declared the gold standard. After buying a German pharmaceutical company that manufactured chemicals of war for Adolf Hitler, Rockefeller leveraged his political influence by pressing Congress to declare natural healing modalities unscientific quackery. Rockefeller then took control of the American Medical Association and began offering massive grants to top medical schools under the mandate that only his approved curriculum be taught. Any mention of the healing powers of herbs, plants, and diet was erased from most medical textbooks. Doctors and professors who objected to Rockefeller's plan were crucified by the media, removed from the AMA, and stripped of their license to teach and practice medicine. Get out of here. Those who dared to speak out were arrested and jailed. When evidence began to emerge that petroleum-based medicines were causing cancer, Mr. Rockefeller founded the American Cancer Society through which he suppressed <laughs> that information. John D. Rockefeller is duly credited as the founder of the pharmaceutical industry and the reason that medical error is currently the third leading cause of death in America. This is not an indictment against doctors. More than anyone, 
They are under the stranglehold of the single largest lobbying power in Washington. Every year, the pharmaceutical industry spends at least twice the amount as big oil to influence laws, policies, and public perception. Thanks to Mr. Rockefeller, the architect of American monopolies, no industry has more power over our lives than big pharma. And, and Russell Brand mentioned, you know, big pharma, big military industrial complex, big oil. They're all right there. The Rockefellers. Have you ever heard of the lockstep document? Yeah. Okay. That was written about, you know, talking about pretty much if you read the lockstep document, it talks about how in China a bird flu broke out and how everything. Yeah, right. I mean, that was written by the Rockefellers. And these guys control <clears throat> everything. So when we talk about there's oligarchs and the rest of us, this is what we're talking about, Kurt. Um, yeah, like I said. You don't have to convince me, but if I explain it to dopey friends of mine, yeah, it don't. You could feed them all this information; it don't matter. I, I remember how it felt when somebody. How many documentaries did they make about all your food is filled with excrement? A lot. And I'm, like, I'm not going to watch that. We got, what am I going to go have to do? Have the hassle of this whole new lifestyle? Yeah. Because I guess I like how it tastes. That's the thought process that I would definitely have ten years ago about any of this stuff. People are overwhelmed with problems. That's also by design. Yeah. So they don't have time to think about this. Yeah. And when you say it to them, all you, they go, I'm just going to get stressed out if I accept those that logic into my head. Yeah. You watch it with the Russell Brand with Bill Moore. Yeah. Consumed, being consumed, consumerism is not just about purchasing and buying things. It's consumed with the problems, consumed with trying to put a roof over your head, consumed with trying to put food on the table, consumed, 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 well, so you don't worry or think deeply about these problems over here. What not. You don't even part, know who they dude, are. Here's a good part. Because yeah. it's falling apart under its own weight, much like the Soviet Union, mm -hmm. the pyramid scheme is collapsing because they can't keep going to a new place over and over again. People are starting to notice who don't even want to notice. Yeah. You know what I mean? So Because it's affecting them directly. I, would I mean, never, we're getting to that point dude, now. I've never questioned a vaccine my whole life. I had a whole joke about how uh, that Je uh, Jenny McCarthy was like dumb for saying her her son got autism. Yeah, and I was like, they just didn't know how to diagnose autism back then. What? Like, I dismissed it. Like, there's no way that could be possible yeah. that they would put a thing out. Yeah. And I was right. I mean, we do have a safe, effective vaccine. I was going to say, I'm just yeah. saying <laughs> Thank you. I'm just saying COVID-19 vaccine is safe and effective. I would, just, I would hear her out FDA. Yeah. <laughs> hey, come see us on tour. We're going to be in Tampa, Boca Raton, Orlando, Dallas, <clears throat> Houston, San Diego, Bloomington, Illinois, Indianapolis, and Levittown, New York. Wow, that's a lot of dates. See you there.